This is the entire history of the Royal Observatory in 59 seconds. In the 17th century, ships just could not stop wrecking. There was no reliable way for mariners to figure out their longitude, and a solution was urgently needed. So in 1675, King Charles II brought together a dream team of Sir Christopher Wren and John Flamsteed to oversee the creation of the Royal Observatory, which opened a year later. Skip forward to 1714, and the British government offer a huge cash reward to anyone who can solve the longitude problem. Legendary clockmaker John Harrison gets to work soon thereafter, and in 1759, after lots of tinkering, he unveils his H4 chronometer. But mariners would still need to be able to sing their clocks. So in 1833, the time ball was added to the observatory. This ball would drop at precisely 1 p.m. every day, signaling the exact time to all onlookers. In 1884, the observatory became home of the Prime Meridian, the official land that divides east and west. This made Greenwich the central place measuring both time and distance around the world and gave birth to Greenwich Mean Time. By 1947, light pollution was becoming a problem, so the decision was made to move the Royal Observatory to Hurstmonceux Castle. It was then downsized and moved again in 1990 before completely shutting down in 1988. But the story doesn't end there as that same year the old Royal Observatory became part of the Royal Museums of Greenwich who invited us here today.